Boom. It's 18. 18 beers in this series. Can you believe that? Because I can't believe that. And I've had about 16 of these. And oh my god. You've heard me say it before. It's always a treat. So let's just... Let's just get into this beautiful, beautiful beer. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Rooski Brewski review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by the infamous Collective Arts Brewery out from Hamilton, Ontario. And we have their 18th, 18th offering of their IPA series. This is IPA number 18, Coconut and Key Lime IPA. Boom. Birds and Circles. Let's go. Birds and Circles. Hell yeah. Coconut and Key Lime IPA with Sabro and uh, Matuka. Matuka? Matukia? Don't know how to pronounce it. Matuka. I'm going with that. Hops. 6.4% alcohol is by volume. No listed IPUs on the web or on the can on the website. And you know there's nothing on untapped. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Pouring into the Muskoka Brewery IPA glass because one. My Collective Arts IPA glass broke last year, and uh, the other ones, they're one, dirty, and two, not the greatest for smelling and getting aromas off beer, which is uh, a shame, but hey, it happens. Boom. I'll show you the birds. Why not? <clears throat> Looking at the beer, it's a very pale, yellow, hazy, crazy boy, indeed. Not much head on that particular pour, but it is what it is. Let's dive in on the nose. On the nose, on the nose. That smells very reminiscent of many other hazy IPAs. Very citrusy forward. Orange, lemon, lime, a little bit of grapefruit. Yeah, lemon, lime are definitely the, uh, the, the, the bigger factors in this. Touch of pineapple. Touch of like green apple, not, um, oh, what's that chemical compound that makes apple come through? Oh, what is that? DMS? No, that's corn. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's not the, the, uh, apple off flavor or aroma that you get from beer, whatever that is. Can't recall it at the moment. Yeah, green apple, lemon, lime, more lime, of course. Coconut, not really much on the nose though. Maybe a little hint, but nothing crazy. Give it a swirl. Get a bit more coconut. Well, when you when you swirled a bit, agitated a bit, you know, but those flavors pop out or you know aromas pop out. And you get a nice little uh, little sweet and toasted uh, coconut. Let's dive in. On the flavor side of things though. On the flavor side of things though. Very tropical. And when I say tropical, I mean coconut and, and key limes. Those flavors are popping out quite nicely. Very refreshing, nice effervescence to the beer, great body, not heavy, not light, just a nice moderate body, good effervescence, bright, refreshing flavor. And again, that was one sip. So cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Smooth. Solid effervescence. Nothing crazy. It's not a crispy boy. But it hasn't enough bubbles. And then the, the flavor. The key lime is definitely the star of the show. Not overly sour, but a nice sweetness to it. Part sweet 
coconut coming in the in the uh, in the undertones, giving a nice uh, again fresh and also uh, toasted kind of coconutiness out of here. Mm hmm. Mm. I want to say it's it's a mix. It's, it's more a, a little bit of like a a, a honeydew melon. Very slight undertone on the on this brew. That is amazing. That is a crushable, sweet, refreshing, and yet crisp without being overly effervescent brew. That's damn good. And at 6.4%, watch out, watch out, watch out. Because if you have a few of these, could get you real quick. Mm -hmm. As a... Uh, the IPA series, I know the last few haven't been as up to up to snuff from some of the later batch or the you know er, earlier uh, editions, but this I'm bringing it back. Still not at the same stature as you know you know three, four, six, and seven, but a solid solid offering. Collective Arts IPA number eighteen, coconut, key lime, sabro, uh, matuka hops. 6.4% ABV, no listed IBUs. No description, nothing really crazy, limited release. Art is by Sebastian Abodu, uh, uh, Abode. Again, uh, apologize, apologies on the mispronunciation of your last name. From Nanaimo, BC. And we got birds, circles, and shapes on a white can, on an off-white can. Very, very nice. Uh, packaged on... October, oh no, October, fuck. August 3rd, 2021. So a little over a month old, but still damn delicious. Over on the website, collectiveartsbrewing.com, you go to the beer section, you will find IPA number 18. Description reads, the latest entry in our IPA series is all about highlighting the best of warm summer weather, which they do. IPA 18 pairs the classic tropical flavors of coconut and key lime with sabro matuka hops two strains known for their tropical fruit notes this hop combo further elevates and uh, this hop combo further elevates the bright coconut and citrus character for the perfect summer ipa that it do description dry hops or sabro and matuka category seasonal Nothing fancy there, but solid looking website in DDO. Go check it out down in the description box below. Moving over to Untapped. Fuck, that's good. IPA number 18 has been given to 3.64 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of 857 ratings. Not as high as I thought it was going to be, but still. 364, okay, respectable. As for the price of the beer, 475 for the 473 ml tall boy can. 475, that is hella expensive. It's almost $5, it's almost a bill. Like a, a physical $5 bill. It is a limited release. I'm gonna give it that. Is it worth almost five dollars? No, it's not worth that price. They've been going up. I if if I don't remember exactly what the others were between say like uh, IPA five and to to like twelve or whatever, but four seventy five. Jeez Louise, that is high. Is it worth it for, for, for one can, two can, three can? Yes. But would you see somebody buying a two for this? Personally, not me. But if you're a beer lover, beer connoisseur, and love the IPAs, yes, buy a can, enjoy it. But at 475, kind of breaking the bank if you're buying a ton. That's just me. They are, they are limited release, so I know the price is going to be higher, but damn, that's high. Mm. 
but that key lime hits. That key lime hits. And a nice little bit of subtle coconut, even more subtle uh, honeydew melon sweetness out of here. Good, good stuff. That's it. Cheers and final sip. Let's get ready to raise and wrap this thing up. Collective Arts IPA number 18. Key lime and coconut with Sabro and Matuka hops. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Key lime comes through amazingly. The coconut a little bit more understated, undertone, but that's all right as well. And that melon, that honeydew sweet melon, comes up and just mm, a, little, a, little, a little, little kiss of extra sweetness to cut through that bit of a key lime sour tartness. And it really all works out beautifully. Overall, Collective Arts IPA number 18 gets a solid, it's all 8.2 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Peruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, guys, that's going to do it for me, Mate Peruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Do you like pina coladas? Oh, I've already done this bit. The bits are kind of shit, but not this beer. Cheers.